story. So today, the 19th of November, is International Men's Day. A whole lot of men in this studio are not even away. So the day's activities uh, celebrate uh, the positive value men bring to the world, uh, their families and communities. The day focuses on uh, the impact positive role models have on the lives of young men and boys. It also highlights uh, physical and uh, mental health risks that affect men. So the day, on the other hand, is intended to celebrate a positive masculinity and the role men play in their families. We talk about the importance of the day with the Deputy Minister of the Department of Social Development, Henrietta Bukhopanizolo. She joins us now live from our studios in C Point. DM, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for uh, coming through. I know men always Thank complain. You so much for having us. And yeah. Happy Men's Day to all the men. Well, I. I as I said on my introduction, a whole lot of them in studio were not even aware that today it's Men's Day, and yet they complain all the time oh my that they never have a day dedicated oh. to them. Well, I think we must do more to celebrate men, um, and to actually, a day like this one needs to get more publicity, and I want to say a thumbs up to the SABC for actually ensuring that we are able to communicate to South African men, especially as we go towards the 16 days. This is the day we want to celebrate positive men. It's the day we want to make sure that for those men that are good, that we celebrate, but also we evoke hope, Balesa, to the ones that want to join and follow. So, yeah, here we are. Happy Men's Day, every man out there. And don't forget the boys. Mm. So the theme for this year is making a difference for men and boys. And there are some organizations really and individuals who complain that everyone, including the government itself, only focus on a girl, child and woman to an extent that uh, a boy, child and men feel a bit neglected by the government and the society as a whole. Um, well, uh, as the Department of Social Development in partnership with South African men. Um, we've got uh, the program Takuani Reime, uh, Men and Boys Championing Change. As we sit, you and me speaking today, we have men sitting in all nine provincial legislatures to actually debate issues affecting men. We've been on the road show where we've engaged, we've had the national men's parliament, the provincial men's parliament. We are busy with the district men's parliament. We're busy with boys' assemblies. So uh, we're actually institutionalizing a, a, a responsive men's movement. And we are doing that because we want to make sure that men take responsibility for their actions but they also take responsibility for moving South Africa forward, but they take responsibility as well for the social structural drivers that uh, create uh, uh, problems, whether it's HIV uh, prevention, whether it's gender-based violence, whether it's femicide. And we have, been, we have invested a lot of money and we have been joined and led by the men's movement that I need to say are doing exceptionally well. So that time, Balisa, of us focusing on the girl child only and leaving the boy child out has gone. That time where we want to believe that uh, we focus on women and hope the men will, will, will uh, come into place as past. Because men are the perpetrators most of the time, uh, actually, or yeah, majority of the time in terms of gender-based violence mm. and femicide, and they must pa take part in being part of the solution. It is men that must hold other men accountable. And as a department, we're running this very massive program of men championing change. Uh, today is the 19th. On the 22nd, uh, we will be launching the first men's lounge because we want to create safe spaces for South African men. So as men talk in Parliament, they give us feedback on the services that are there. So they require support in the same way that women require support mm. so that they can stop abusing women. They can go and seek help before they even start killing us. So we are 
rolling out this program and it's been three, four, five years now that we've been at it. But now it's massive and we are institutionalizing it. All right. So I think we should have you back on the 22nd, Deputy Minister, because we've ran out of time today. But thank you so much for coming through. Henrietta Bokhopani Zulu is the Deputy Minister for the Department of Social Development, talking to us about today being the International Men's Day. So happy Men's Day to all the good men out there. There is one here next to me already celebrating. And you didn't like know that, until I now, didn't, know. didn't you? That's the thing. Ah, yeah, and yeah. And it's half past five. Well, you still have some hours to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, All right, so sure. let's go home. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Bongani Bingwa and uh, the Democracy Gage team up next. The full view at the top of the hour. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye. Salam -bye. <laughs>